Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. I am picking up where I left off. It is still May 17th for me, and what we were working on when I left off was trying to get uh, just a simple on text change type of method call into the dollars text field. There's no built in way of doing this in Java, and it just is it's clunky the way you have to do it. You have to add a document listener. I want to provide something simpler that just provides, um, you know, a callback when when a text change happens. So I realized as I was writing this, I want to I want to do a change listener. So that makes me wonder if I should reuse an existing listener class. I'm guessing not, but I'm going to take a few moments to just check into that. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I'm back. So as I suspected, there is a bunch of listeners built into Java, but it's not clear that what I want to do is it, that they're appropriate for what I want to do. And I don't want to start confusing the semantics by reusing, you know, a simple one-line interface. Um, you know, I don't want to reuse a simple one-line interface that has expected uses and behaviors. So I'll just write my own. It's much, it's much simpler. Um, so I think I will call this a dollars text field change listener. Um, listener equals new dollars text field change listener and I'm going to have one method. Let's try to imitate Call it text change. And we'll call it add text change listener. And what do we want to have this do? Well, we again we can do the cheesy approach of using an array use a boolean array which is initialized to false and then that should become true. So we want to assert that uh, the text changed should have been called. listener and what is that boolean yeah and we'll need to create this class let's call it dollars text field dot change listener like so. We'll put it down here. And we need to add that method. We need to create that interface. I think public is redundant there, but we'll call that good anyway. So I think we're compiling it should fail. Yes, text change should have been called. Excellent. And now making that work should be 
just a matter of doing this. We're going to add a new document listener, and in the render method, we're going to call listener dot text changed. All right, so it wants that to be final. Does it really need it to be final? Yeah. All right. So that should work. No, it did not work. My little ninja is angry. <laughs> it should have worked. Oh, I've turned him into a zombie. Oh, oh the tragedy. Uh, minus four. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing, but you've been watching for 106 episodes. You know that already. So why didn't this work? Um, that should have worked. I thought it should have worked. Why did it not work? Um, yes, I just refactored again when I wasn't supposed to. Uh, that really should have worked. Should have been true, was false. Let's see it again. Oh, now I've really broken it. Oh, that, interesting, that refactoring broke. Text change should have been called. We're adding a new document listener. We're calling listener.text changed. Here we've implemented that. Hmm. Well, I'm stumped. Let's, uh, let's go and break out the debugger. So, okay. So our changed array has a false in it, great. We're calling add text change listener, and that's calling add document listener. Oh, you know what? Duh. <laughs> I'm never changing the text. Yeah, I add the text change listener. Um, it should not have been called yet. Bet you that works. And if I can get it to run. There we go. And then I need to change the text. So we'll set the text to um, thousand. And now text changed should have been called. Yeah, there we go. Um, now it's working. And if I were to comment this out, it would fail. 
and comment it back in, and it passes. So there we go. Oh look, and I have a happy ninja. Still dead, but happy. Ooh, minus 11. <laughs> well, just, I think that says more about the ability of automated programs to evaluate a coding style than anything else. Um, all right, so, yeah, that's working now. So what I can do, now that that's working, um, here I can say, add text change listener and that's going to be a new change listener with a public void text changed method that is going to say get dollars dot render well, this line of code right here. And that should still work. Yep. Means I can take this out and it should still work. Yep. And this I'm going to rename to being just the uh, text render target adapter dollars text field render target adapter. make this private and static. Uh, static inner classes don't have access to the containing instance and in this case we don't need that because we're actually passing it in. And I'm not sure if that matters for an interface. But it's legal, so do that. And move it down here, get it out of the way. And now I should be able to go into application frame and take this out. Now I should be able to say field dot um, add text change listener. How does that work again? I'm just going to do this. Except rather than doing this whole thing, I want to say application model dot set starting balance field dot get dollars. And here I want to say field. And then I can delete all this. And it should still work. Wahoo! Okay, so there we go. I'm um, feeling pretty good about that. Should all still work? I trust the tests. Oh, please test me, still work. <laughs> yeah, it's all working. So uh, there we go. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. I will catch you next time.